Hey everybody, my name is April and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So glad to see everyone. And the last few Saturdays, I have been taking you shopping with me and showing you a few hauls here and there. And so today's a little different but kind of the same kind of theme but before i get into that please like and subscribe join our family we would love to have you because i love showing you things that i find for a bargain and stuff like that so uh today i have amazon prime day things that i picked up uh there's a couple other items that i picked up a couple days after i kind of found out something <laughs> But I'll kind of get into that when I get to those items. So let's jump on into, I think, a small but mighty hot haul. It's not like a huge haul. It's, 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 it's smallish. So the first thing I picked up are these headbands. Uh, they are 16-piece colored headbands. I've decided to start using colored headbands because, A, they're cheaper. Uh, B, sometimes a little pop of color on a headband goes a long way. So... I've been picking those up. Usually I spend about $15 on a 16 piece, which isn't bad, which equals out to like a dollar headband. But these, and I want to try to tell you the prices to everything I bought, these were on sale for $10.39. So it's definitely less than a dollar headband, which is a great steal because I do love making ears. I am, have started uh, my own Etsy shop where I do make ears and things like that and I've been going through headbands like crazy uh, not necessarily for my shop it's still new and still in the works and stuff like that but just creating things and trying to build up stock for my shop so uh, a lot of headbands should have bought two of these honestly but they were ten thirty nine a piece if I need to I can go back and spend the slightly above price but yeah, so I picked those up speaking of ears I picked this up for ears and I was kind of there's a few things I was eyeballing back and forth to um buy if it was on sale and I there went my phone <laughs> So what I was saying before my phone rudely interrupted me, there was a few like craft items I was keeping my eyes out for and this was one of them and it's just like, how many is there? 12 pieces of these like vine wreaths. They're smaller. I want to try to make ears out of these, hence the headbands. But yeah, so I bought these. I think they're good sizes. I've tried to buy these a couple times and I've bought the wrong sizes. I've bought too small or too big. So uh, I kind of knew from that since what size to try to get. But I spent $5.68 on 12 pieces of these. So that equals less than 50 cents per week, which makes it like a fairly good deal and a fairly good one. And a good enough deal to where if I don't necessarily like the ears i don't feel like i spent too much money and i have to continue with those ears so yeah i picked up craft items this next item it's kind of sticky on the wrapper for some reason i'm not sure was not necessarily like an amazon prime day deal and i'm having to look it up because it's not on that box for some reason that's right there so it wasn't necessarily a Prime Day deal, but it was a really, really good deal when I was checking out. So I keep looking down. I'm trying to get all the prices for me. So I grabbed this for all the Like I said, it wasn't necessarily a Prime Day deal, but it was a good, good deal. So I picked it up, and it's these banners. That hang right beside your door in the family there. Like they're, I believe they're as tall as I am. But it says Welcome Halloween Hocus Pocus. So my front yard is going to be a Hocus Pocus theme this year. I did uh la la la, I did Haunted Mansion. 
Sorry if I'm stammering on the words. I'm filming this in the morning before my family wakes up. It's just, it's a mess. So I'm stammering with it. But I'm doing Hocus Pocus in my front yard. This year for Halloween, I'm trying to buy a few things here and there. And I saw this and it was $5.75. So that was like a really, really good deal with that big of a banner. I'll try to pull up the picture so I can show you like what it's styled as because... I mean, this porch is like goals, but yeah, I picked it up for five seventy five. It's still on sale on Amazon for five seventy five. So, if you like it, pick it up. It's it's good deal. That's a good deal for those big banners. The big thing, like I believe it's waterproof. It feels like it's more of a more waterproof fabric. So. And the next, I believe I was awake now, and the next kind of Halloween thing that I picked up, it was on sale for $6.75. And I'm so excited about this because finding a good cute shirt for $6.75 is rare unless you go to Five Below. And sometimes they don't have long sleeves. And these had the cute like little, what do you call them? Like almost like the baseball team raglan maybe but yeah it's just this three-quarter length hocus pocus 2xl shirt that's another thing about five below you don't always five 2xl so yeah it's this really cute it's all a bunch of hocus pocus and it has the sanderson sister silhouettes on there and it's just really really cute and for like 675 i think it was six six I believe six and five, but <laughs> it's just really, really cute, and I'm so excited to wear this for the upcoming holiday. Since my front yard's gonna be hocus pocus, I needed a hocus pocus to kind of rip my yard, so pick that up. And then I bought another craft item, and this led to the whole idea of oh. You can find cheap things on Amazon all the time. So, like I said earlier, I put some things in my cart to just kind of watch and see if they went down for prom day. And this was one of them. It is a four pack. And it is these photo cubes. And if you know me, <laughs> you kind of can guess what I'm going to DIY this into. I'm just going to leave it at that. But it's for a DIY. It's a four pack, so I'll probably be making four of them or finding things to do with them. But yeah, they are like a damaged product. But on uh, Amazon Day, Amazon Prime Day, they were an extra 25% off because they were a warehouse deal. I was not aware of warehouse deals on Amazon Prime until Prime Day. So warehouse deals, you type into the search engine warehouse deals. It takes you to a certain page and certain like search bar. And you can kind of search on there for warehouse deals, which is like damaged packages and the stuff that got sent back for whatever reason. And I believe this is like because there's like a tiny, you can't always see it, like scratch kind of like on it. For when I'm DIYing these, that, that does not make a difference to me. So these were on warehouse deals just $9.06, which isn't bad for a four pack of photo cubes. But with Amazon Prime Day, I got an extra 25% off. I wish I would have known that before because I would have really looked into some Amazon warehouse deals because I bought a couple afterwards. Um, so 25% off. So I got these for $6.75. Before I jump into my warehouse deals that I picked up after Prime Day, I did get 21 free prints of picture prints from Amazon for free. They just shipped them to me. I printed out some pictures from our Disney trip and they will end up going like on a Disney gallery wall in my living room. But I was really excited to find like to get that deal too. Prints are not always like super cheap. You can occasionally get them ten dollars or ten cents a print at Walgreens if you find the right sale. But yeah, if 
finding prints, getting free prints for free was awesome. So I, of course, snagged that deal because it was free. No shipping, no nothing. They sent me 21 free prints just for being an Amazon cu customer. So that was really nice. So, warehouse deals. I decided after I realized about warehouse deals with those photo cubes to go in and just kind of peek around on, you know, what I can find in warehouse deals. So this first item, and it says on the box, thanks to you, this product has a second life. So that's really cool. And so I picked up tea like candles. What's so special about these? Because I can get these at Dollar Tree. I mean, I can get these two for a dollar at Dollar Tree all day. But what's great about these, and I don't know if you have to have them on. Let's try this out together. So, on, but it has a remote. And when I use these for Halloween decor, it would be nice to have a remote to turn them off and on. Uh, that's pretty much why I bought them. They were 12 for $5, which, I mean, I would buy 12 for $6 at Dollar Tree. So that ended up being actually a better deal than Dollar Tree. And they're all the same. And I plan on putting them in pool noodles and just kind of making like a big candle and then putting these in the middle. That way it looks like the pool noodles actually like just a big candle. And then I can turn them off and on and use them as display for Halloween. I could also kind of just put them around my house if I wanted to. I could make floating candles for like Emma's Halloween party, things like that. Yeah, 12 for $5 ended up being a better deal than Dollar Tree. And it has a remote, which I'll probably need to Velcro to like my window seal. That way I don't lose the remote. Remotes, I lose remotes all the time. And if I'm not losing it, Emma's losing it. If I'm not losing it, the dogs kick it off somewhere. Remotes. They're insane. So. Putting that down so I can grab this last item. It's Halloween. I looked up Halloween decor on warehouse deals. They had some pretty cool stuff. They had uh, some awesome inflatables. I wish I would have snagged. There was a Jack Skellington one. I was going to send a friend, but by the time I was about to send it to her, uh, the link was saying sold out. So I didn't send it to her. <laughs> but uh, this actually had a few on the warehouse deals. It came in this like bag that you often get from Sheen and stuff like that. But it's four pillowcases. And the only reason I can think that it was on warehouse deals is because after I got them, they're pretty big pillowcases. Like, they're pretty big for, like, throw pillow pillowcases. Um, I might try to wash them and see if they shrink a little bit, but they're still really, really cool. I'm going to use them. I'm just going to throw them on top of my regular pillowcases, and I'm so excited about them. First one is Salem Broom Co. And it says down there, finest quality, enchanted. Is that supposed to say brooms? I don't know. But yeah, it's like, it's just Halloween-y and cute. And Emma just woke up and she's looking at me and there she is. She's still in her pajamas. <laughs> so the next one. I might actually send this to someone because it's just really cute and it says, well, 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 what do we have here? And it's Oogie Boogie. So yeah, I might actually send this to a friend because I think it would just go with their decor and especially their Halloween decor. So that's really cool. And it's a burlap fabric. I just think they're cool. And I'll tell you how much I spent on them in a minute. And then there's the Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow Bed and Breakfast. And it says, come and lay your weary head to rest. That's pretty cool. And I actually have a sign from Dollar Tree that actually says this. So I feel like that kind of goes. And it says, a witch lives here with her little monsters. And one handsome devil. It's cute. But yeah, it was a four pack. 
I feel very unthrilled with this. <laughs> Why is it that? It's cute. But either way, I spent $6.20 on four pillowcases for Halloween, which is unreal. You can't even get that good of a price on Sheen. <laughs> Because I've been looking on pillow for pillowcases on Sheen. Uh, I still think I'm going to do a Beetlejuice living room. So I needed some striped pillowcases for my pillows. They're not that cheap. They're like $4. And this was like 4 for six twenty. So I'm still going to buy the striped ones. Just kind of like add to the flow. And then add a couple of these in. Because they're really, really cute. And just live my best Halloween life. I think I want to start decorating in the end of August too because I didn't do that last year and I ran out of time and didn't do everything I wanted to do. I want to just have a Halloween home for a good season. But yeah, <laughs> that might have been a little bit too much about me, but if you're here for it, you're here for it. Thank you for sticking around. And um, if you love upcoming Halloween content please like and subscribe because I'm all about some Halloween I've been Halloween decor hunting and I'm so excited for the season but that is it for me today these are my prime day deals and a couple after and I hope you go and look at the warehouse deals because you might find some really cool stuff like I said I didn't get too much this time, but I feel like it was a pretty good enough haul to film and show you guys because I did get some good deals and I love a bargain, if you didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you real soon. Bye.